There is no shortcut to success, but it's okay. It's okay. We as human beings are built to work. We are. I mean, there is joy in being lazy and sitting around and relaxing. That's great too, but if you want success, you have to work, you have to put in the work, you have to grind, and through the grind, you will find joy. You will. You will enjoy the grind. You, you come to love it, it's because we are meant to work. It's like solving a really, really hard math problem, right? You sit down and, and, and you go through it, and you do the math, and you figure it out, and it's like, ah, it feels really, really good when you figure it out, right? That's the grind, and that's the joy of the grind. What about the harder things? What if it's really hard? What do you do when it's hard? Well, the hard stuff, that's when you really lean in and work harder. That's when you find out who you really are and what you're made of and what your weaknesses are, so you can conquer those fears. Jump in. Do not be afraid to jump in, my friend. Jump in. Your biggest enemy is yourself, your own mind, because your mind is going to create excuses. Do not make excuses. Excuses are like walls that you put up around you that prevent you from succeeding at whatever you're trying to do. You need to knock them down one problem at a time, one wall at a time. Conquer it. If something is hard and you're struggling, that's not bad. You see, that's, that's where people get it wrong. People say math is really hard, and it is, but that's actually a good thing if you like math and you're ready to embrace it because it's gonna make you stronger and you're gonna grow, right? When you can pick up a math book and you can read it and you can read the definitions and you can read the examples and you could look at the propositions and understand the proofs and maybe even prove some of them on your own as you read the book, you know, together, you, the book, a piece of paper and a pencil, that's all you need, right? Once you have those things, if you sit down and you embrace that mathematics, that's how you grow, that's how you get better. And that hard stuff that you grind through makes you stronger. And it's because it's hard, it sticks. I always remember the things that I worked hardest on oftentimes. Now, not always, because sometimes I'd work really hard on stuff and, and I wouldn't completely get it, but there were certain things that I really worked hard on and I really understood. And those things stick. They stick forever. Even, even after you don't use them, they stay in the back of your mind. And when you revisit them later, it's just like they come back. It's like, it's like they're already there because you've seen so much mathematics in your life. And if you're doing self-study, I want to emphasize that you can really find great strength in pushing through those harder problems. You know, if you have the time to do it, take the time. If you're interested in something, pursue it. Find your own interest. Whatever you're passionate about, learn about it. There's always something out there that you can learn. Remember, we're built to do the hard stuff. We're built to work hard. People say, oh, you know, people are lazy. No, that's not true, right? I mean, there are people that are lazy, but that's a choice. You can make a choice to work hard. You can make a choice to grind. You can make a choice to succeed at whatever it is you're trying to succeed at. Mathematics, getting a job, getting in shape, whatever it is you're trying to do, if you put in the work, you can do it. And again, I wanna emphasize that it's not about talent, okay? It's not. Talent isn't going to be what separates you from everyone else. Because if it is, then you've already lost because there's nothing you can do about what they call natural talent. What you might discover though, is as you pursue something that you think you're not talented at, you might discover that you're actually very good at it, okay? You might discover that you're actually passionate about it. Hey, this is really, I'm really good at this. And this happens in, in mathematics a lot because there's different types of math. So some people are really, really good at certain types of math, and some people are really, really good at other types of math. So yeah, keep grinding. You're going to find joy in that grind, and that grind is what's going to make you stronger and you're going to grow. Self-study is amazing. I've seen people who 
are considered lazy, people who would, other people would say, hey, that person is lazy, that person does not work hard, that person doesn't do their homework, that person doesn't like mathematics. And I have worked with those people and I have seen that they are not lazy, they are not. People are not lazy. Sometimes they just need a little bit of inspiration. And maybe that's what you need, right? I mean, think about it. If you're trying to do math, what's holding you back, right? What's holding you back? Pick up a book, pick up a piece of paper, sit down and start doing it. Don't make excuses anymore. Just do it. We really are built to do the hard stuff. If you found this video helpful, feel free to hit like, share, subscribe, all that stuff. Also check out my courses, they're on Udemy, but if you get them, use the links from the description of this video or from my website, mathsorcerer.com. Also check out my eBay store, link in the description. Until next time, keep doing math. And remember, we are built to do the hard stuff. Even if you're feeling lazy, okay? This, this is just the key takeaway from this video. If you are feeling lazy, that's okay, it's normal. It's okay to be lazy. It's okay to have lazy days, right? But realize that we are built to work. Human beings are built to work hard. And if you want to succeed in this life, you have to work, you have to work hard. So stop making excuses for whatever it is you're trying to do, whether it be learn math, uh, apply for a job, get in shape, whatever it is you're trying to do with your life, stop making excuses. Because if you keep making excuses, what's gonna happen? Nothing, right? Nothing is going to change. You are never going to succeed, ever, right? So stop making excuses and get out there. Anyways, until next time, keep doing mathematics.